Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with a new recipe. Today it's a brunch or a breakfast recipe that you can make. The main ingredient used in it is sweet potato. So it's high in fiber and protein because I've used eggs in the dish. So the ingredients list is given below. Do check it out. And for more such breakfast ideas, do subscribe to my channel and like and share it. So let's jump into the recipe. So I've got a cast iron pan on fire, medium flame. I've added some oil and butter and melted the butter. Now I'm going to add some cumin seeds into this and let it splutter. Once the cumin seeds are nice and brown, we'll add in finely chopped onions to this dish. And we'll just saute the onions until they change color and start browning. Now it's time to add the finely chopped green chilies and garlic. And we'll cook the garlic until the raw smell disappears. Now the onions and garlic and green chilli are done. Let's add in the tomatoes. I've finely chopped the tomatoes. Now we need to cook the tomatoes until they are nice and soft. So let's saute them for a few minutes before adding the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm adding in some red chilli powder. I'm using Kashmiri red chilli powder and some salt to taste. The Kashmiri red chilli powder is for the colour. So if you want it a little more spicy, you can use regular chilli powder as well. So I'm going to cook everything together. We need the tomatoes to be really soft. Before that, I'm adding a pinch of sugar to this dish as well as a little bit of vinegar. Now mix everything together. And let's allow the tomatoes to cook nicely. Now the tomatoes are cooked nicely. Now I'm going to add in the boiled and mashed sweet potato mixture. Now we need to bring all these ingredients together. So we'll just mix it well. And if you feel the mixture is a little dry, you can add some hot water to help in the cooking. You should cook it nicely until it becomes a nice mash. So I'm breaking down all the bits that are there in the sweet potato and making sure the tomato mixture has cooked well. Now what we have to do is to make some wells in the mash like this depending on how many eggs you are going to add in. Now I have broken the egg into a bowl and then adding it into the tomato and sweet potato mixture. Now I am going to season the eggs with some salt and pepper. Now all that is left to do is we have to cook the eggs nicely. So. Once the eggs are cooked, add some coriander leaves on top and the dish is ready to be served with some toasted bread. So do try this for brunch or breakfast. Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next time with a new recipe. Until then, bye-bye.